The one thing that I really want to emphasize and point out is when you make your grid on your photograph, you might have an area, you will have an area that will be smaller like this. That's okay, there's nothing wrong with it. And this part right here, it may be a little bit under an inch than this over here. You can even take your ruler and you can measure it to see. That's fine. Now make sure when you're gridding your blank piece of paper that you have the small areas in the same places. So you see how the smaller areas up top here, it's also the smaller areas also up top here. Okay? If this area is a little that's less than it's under an inch than our uh, other squares, this is under an inch than the other squares. So they have to match exactly. That's what's important, is they have to match exactly. Otherwise, your grid will not turn out nicely. So as you can see, when I did this second grid of the photograph, it's still the same smaller space up top, right? Still the same smaller space up top, and still under an inch over on the same. So it's all on the same side. It's okay if it's smaller. It's okay if it's an under an inch, as long as it's the same with your photograph and with your blank grid on your paper. Otherwise, nothing will be drawn correctly. So, once you get your grid done and you've mastered your self-portrait, then if you have any favorite athletes, actors, singers, celebrities, dancers, any other famous people, you can be able to grid a picture of them and draw them and it'll look spectacular. You get to maze your friends.